Near a black hole, space and time do some very strange things because black holes are probably the most violent places we know of in the universe. But this river provides a beautiful analogy for what happens to space and time as you get closer and closer to the black hole. Now upstream, the water is flowing pretty slowly. Let's imagine that it's flowing at three kilometers per hour and I can swim at four. So I can swim faster than the flow and can easily escape. But as you go further and further downstream towards the waterfall in the distance, the river flows faster and faster. Imagine I was to decide to jump into the river just there on the edge of the falls. The water is flowing far faster than I could swim. So no matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I would not be able to swim back upstream. I would be carried inexorably towards the edge and I would vanish over the falls. Well, it's the same close to a black hole because space flows faster and faster and faster towards the black hole. Literally, this stuff, my space that I'm in, flowing over the edge into the black hole. And at the very special point called the event horizon, space is flowing at the speed of light into the black hole. light itself traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second is not going fast enough to escape the flow and light itself will plunge into the black hole. Well as you fall into a black hole across the event horizon then if you were going feet first, your feet will be accelerating faster than your head. So you would be stretched and you would be quite literally spaghettified. Now as you get right to the center, then our understanding of the laws of physics breaks down. Our best theory of space and time, Einstein's theory of general relativity, says that space and time become infinitely curved, that the center of the whole becomes infinitely dense. That place is called the singularity, and it is the place where our understanding of the universe stops.